Virtual reality has been around for a long time, but faced numerous challenges which were difficult to overcome. Performance, resolution, weight, and a cable that limits your movement. At Displanet, we've set out to change all of this. Traditionally in gaming, players have sat in front of a console, and in enterprise, car designers have sat in front of a CAD workstation, but all of this is changing. With VR, people want the freedom to be able to interact with their environments and to move freely around. You can't feel immersed if your movement's limited by a cable. At Displanet, we realized it wasn't just a matter of building a new chip. We had to go beyond what other people thought was possible and build an entire product from the ground up. No technology existed that was able to handle wireless transmission of the huge quantities of video and audio data generated by VR content. We worked with leaders in the industry to develop a unique technology that enables a completely immersive experience, even in the most demanding VR environments. The Displanet XR codec took everything we knew and brought it to a whole new level. It wasn't enough to simply meet the needs of VR headsets in the market today. We designed the product to enable the industry to move forwards. We set out to create a reference design to enable a whole new segment of VR headsets. Along this journey, we consulted industry programmers and enterprise users to ensure it met their needs. But the whole time we were ergonomically looking at the design to ensure that it met the balance on the headset whilst maintaining six degrees of freedom for users and giving three hours of constant battery time. The future-proof capabilities of our chipset enabled HTC to bring a product to market that met the needs of both their Vive and the higher resolution Vive Pro headset. We're excited now to see developers developing new games that can utilize the space in a whole new way and enterprises where multi-users can interact together, design environments, multi-design environments and collaborative environments, all of this is now opening up through wireless VR.